okay, the problem is this. We have a car that starts off from rest. It, un it undergoes constant acceleration for 3.25 seconds. We don't know what that acceleration is. We don't know what speed that car is going after 3.25 seconds. But at that point, we know the acceleration changes to 2.1 meters per second squared, where it undergoes that acceleration for 5 seconds, and it has a final velocity of 30 meters per second after those 5 seconds. So we accelerate, change the acceleration in some way, and then accelerate again to get to a final velocity of 30 seconds, 30 meters per second. So what we want to find out is what is our initial acceleration. Well, at first glance, we're not really sure where to go. So why don't we first draw out an equation for the acceleration, for this velocity right here. Because if we know this velocity here, we'll be able to figure out exactly what the acceleration is here. So if we just write an expression for that, we know that velocity final, or we'll call this velocity 1, equals the initial velocity plus the acceleration times the time. This acceleration is acceleration 1, this time is time 1. So, as we can see here, our initial velocity is 0, so this term is 0, if we put a 0 in. So we can say v1 equals a1 times t1. a1 we don't know, but t1 we know to be 3.25 seconds. So if we can figure out another expression relating v1 to a1, we'll be able to sub, sub in for that and figure out exactly what our initial acceleration is. So for now, we can leave this as v1 equals a1 t1, and let's work with the second part of this problem. The problem, the part where we have enough information to do something. So we can say that the f, final velocity here, is equal to our initial velocity, and we're breaking this up into sections, so now I'm calling this our initial velocity right here. So this is v1. So I can call that my initial velocity, plus the acceleration that I undergo in this time, which I know to be 2.1. So I'm actually going to put that in, 2.1 multiplied by t, which is 5 seconds. So right away, I see that I can do some subbing to figure out what the answer is. I know my final velocity is 30 meters per second. I know v1 is equal to a1 t1. So I'm going to take this and plug it in. This v1 is the same as a1 t1, because I solved that in the first case. So I can say 30 equals a1 t1 instead of v1 plus, and if I multiply this, 5 times 2.1 is 10.5. Alright, so I'm going to subtract 10.5 from 30, subtract 10.5 from both sides to give me 19.5 equals a1 times t1, which I know to be 3.25. Divide both sides by 3.25, I got A1 equals 19.5 divided by 3.25, which is equal to 6 meters per second squared.